Why did the Botox lady scam me? And she was Ukrainian! Oh my god! Do you have your own YouTube channel? It's like a bumblebee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bumblebee. Bumblebee, like bumblebee. Switch. I don't care about what people say. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about Wait, filler. Yeah. Period. First time doing filler. This is future Marta and there's about to be past Marta. Showing you guys the filler situation. It was painful. No one talks about how painful it is. I don't know why. Ella said it was like a thousand out of ten pain. Today, I'm actually gonna get Botox at four. I think I'm gonna put on some lashes. I'm not gonna put on makeup because anyway, she's gonna take all that off. Botox I've done now three times. I got it twice in right here area. So four units all together each time and then I got 30 units right here in my masseters because I grind my teeth like a creature the muscle doesn't move anymore right once you that's right it becomes relaxed mm-hmm you know, I wear the night guard. It's low-key embarrassing. But I guess it's helped. I can't clench my jaw. The muscle is just dead. You know what I mean? Oh, this feels so good. It's 65 degrees today. I'm excited. My mom's like super against this. She really is. She's like, what are you doing? You're embarrassing the family. Listen, girl. I don't care about what people say. You know this. You know this. Everyone knows this. Go right, right. I feel like that's what makes content creators content creators. You can't be a content creator if you're worried about what everybody says because you're not going to be yourself. And then what? People can tell when you watch a video, you can tell who's being genuinely themselves and who's putting on an act. I don't know if I could say this. I'm going to trouble YouTube. But I'll tell you guys about that when the strikes are gone. I had to create a second YouTube because of what was going on. So yeah, I'll talk about it when it's time. We're going to get lip filler. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> right there. We'll start numbing. It's gonna take about 10-15 minutes. I just want to make sure she's numb. We're doing lip filler today. Why? I was supposed to do this on her own. Been a really tough time for her lately, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it too. We're ready. Alright, let's go. We just put the numbing cream on her. <laughs> She has a small lip, so we'll start slowly. She said she can't feel anything. Yeah, that's good. I don't know. She's still gonna feel some pain, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. This also has lidocaine. She's gonna feel it, but as I keep doing it, it's gonna get numb. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's uncomfortable. I'll go slow. Because we're gonna go home right now and we're gonna have a family dinner and stuff. <laughs> we're like really terrified. Well, today is. Oh. Today is. <laughs> because we say, we think what we must say to family, say it's like we do scrub. Lip scrub? I don't just, know. So. For two put weeks. Put your mask on so you you got a cold. Nah, they're no, gonna no. think we're psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Today you take Tylenol, Claritin, or Benadryl because it helps the swelling. Mm -hmm. Don't feel nothing. <laughs> She's like, how am I gonna smoke my vape? <laughs> <laughs> You'll feel it later. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, breathe, breathe, Elisa. Breathe. You know what? I just wanted to get my glasses for up close. <laughs> Said she needs glasses because she can't see her lips. <laughs> <laughs> I saw on YouTube, it's like 7 out of 10 pain. Okay, just stop speaking. So, trigger warning, you guys are gonna see the needle. Very detailed, because I used my new lens. Just a heads up, just skip to this time. If you don't like needles, if you freak out, let's get into the action. Okay. Okay. I know her favorite song. Hey Alexa. Play Rich Flex by Drake. <laughs> it's not a favorite song. No, I'm dead serious. It is. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, it's really bad, yeah. Yes. Oh, no. It's so freaking bad. <laughs> she said I'd rather give birth again. Oh, my God. <laughs> no way. Bad. You can do it. You can do it. it. Oh, my God. It's so bad. <laughs> Things that we do, right? <laughs> Women. But yeah, oh. tell me about it. I got a smaller needle too. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, a thinner needle, okay? It's skinny, skinny. Skinny, skinny, like us. Skinny, like yeah. me. Like <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Mm-hmm. <sighs> ready for it. Do you want to try? I was in shock. <laughs> I'm 
my first time having lip fillers, I had no idea. Like, cause you see them on YouTube and everybody's like so, you know. We're doing the top first. Yeah, I do the outline first because this way it's just gonna give me that, that border. Okay, so I'm gonna do the it's like a bumblebee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bumblebee. Bumblebee, bumblebee. You're not a normal person, Marta. Why you don't have pain? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just coaching myself. <laughs> Like, where's on the left side? That's so weird. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Tag me in those pictures. Wait, where's my phone? You don't have one. You poor. Oh my mama, Jesus Christ. Don't go down. <laughs> oh my god, my mom's gonna kick me out the house. <laughs> She's I'm gonna like be like, let me see. Me too! But now we yeah. can live in oh Miami. Oh my god, bro, what the f Marta, today homeless. <laughs> <laughs> me too! Why am I smart? <laughs> but tomorrow is gonna go down, right? It'll go down tomorrow. Later that same evening. It has gone down a lot, I feel like. You could still see the injection points. It was so embarrassing sitting at the table. I felt like my dad could I feel like my dad couldn't even look at me. He was just like, bro, are you serious? No, but it's not as bad now. I definitely feel like the temporary pain is worth the results for now. We'll see tomorrow. Because tomorrow it's supposed to be what it's supposed to look like. You see all the points? She did the cupid's okay. bow. We look like we got beat up. Can you go police station? The next day. Okay, so. <laughs> Yesterday, I did something kind of dumb. Uh oh. So, Ella has been looking on Groupon for lip filler, right? And she didn't want to do it alone. <laughs> I look busted up. I was wearing a mask all day today. By the way, um, I ordered the wrong size Stanley Cup. <laughs> like a small. Dish. No, this one is from Marshalls. Wait, that's a dupe? Yes. In Marshalls, uh. they have a bunch of colors. Yeah. So I'm just marking my territory from for me. Okay. From from from. So three little muscles we are targeting here. This is called presseurs and this is corrugator. Mm. All of these muscles to make a frown, to make a scary face. Okay. And that's uh, again from our predecessors. Uh, <laughs> that's to kind of scare the enemies away from us. We don't need it anymore. But when we use these muscles, people perceive it as anger. When we are totally fine. So now your forehead. Mm -hmm. up 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 for me big wow so this is a beautiful muscle very strong still in your case which is beautiful this is the only force that keeps the eyebrows up you don't want me to droop your eyebrow you don't no. want me to make you feel heavy with your eyes we already on the little bit heavier side a little to chest a little bit on the lateral but again i'm not going to be overdoing here simply to keep the eyebrow nice and lifted okay mm -hmm. that how high i'll go in order to preserve the length of the forehead kind mm -hmm. of elongating so nefertiti had a long forehead for some reason people associate it with it being smart have no idea <laughs> i have doubts about that the third zone is around the eyes mm -hmm. we don't like those crow's feet however in your case you don't have them you're going to be injecting in so-called orbicularis oculi this beautiful muscle go around the eye we're going to be relaxing just the lateral part of this muscle why because i want to lift the tail of your eyebrow and yeah. that's what this muscle does when it's active it pulls it down Mm. therefore relaxing it allows me to do that now give me a huge smile again huge smile close your eyes tightly as if it's sandstorm sandstorm boom and this is just cold guys wow. so when it's really bad just let me know okay my dear deep breath in mm -hmm. breathe out 
I thought it was gonna hurt more the first time I got it. It's not too bad. And it's fast, you know, I would say. Lips are the most painful, mm -hmm. which you don't need. I actually just did it for YouTube. She did a good job. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like one side is a little bigger than the mm -hmm. other, mm -hmm. but she said she'll fix it on Saturday. So I was trained, uh, Google her, Julie Horn. She is queen of the lips. So I went mm. uh, across the ocean to be trained by wow. her. She's in Zurich, Switzerland. Doesn't hurt that bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still unpleasant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at least it's fast. Mm -hmm. The lips were crazy mm -hmm. pain. Mm -hmm. I usually use laughing gas for that. I do dental blocks. Mm -hmm. So you're yeah. totally not oh feeling my it. God. Because it's the most nerve endings there. Mm -hmm. It's just so you kind of, it's not a joke. It's the only sexual organ that is outside. Our vagina is less painful to inject than lips. Really? Yeah. yeah but maybe. you inject there too? Oh yeah, I do. What? I do. Uh, regeneration. Oh. Sex. Sex. How much is that? Yeah, uh, 1200. But it looks different or just feels uh, different? To, uh, it doesn't look different, it feels different. To look different, I inject the labias as well, the outside, and it's... Wow, it's, it's, <laughs> that's crazy. A friend came from Ukraine from the war in November and she had Botox done in Ukraine and mm -hmm. they didn't do it right, so it just started drooping. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess war doesn't affect... Injections. Nope. <laughs> Believe me, I'm Ukrainian myself and I'm angry Oh, really? I mean, my family's fine there. Because uh -huh. they're on the <gasps> Ternopil. You're from Ukraine? Yeah, I'm from oh, Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure. I was like, I don't know where no, she's no, no, from. No, no, no. Hey guys, today is March 1st. It's Women's History Month. When I was younger, I used to think that it was so dumb, so crazy that people would get Botox and filler. But then when age hits you, you kind of get a shock. That's when you're like, now hold on a damn second. What can I do to fix this? Just one line sort of visible i don't know she said if anything to come back don't know if it's been two weeks already but i'm about to give her a call that line should not be there and the lip filler overall honestly i'm really happy with everything i do think the lip filler though makes me look a little weird honestly for a good week could not look at myself because i was like that's not even me you know like botox is one thing but filler when you change the size i can't do that i realized because i mean the botox lady did say that she put too much but i did pay for one milliliter so it's like it's not up to her really it's because she's like okay this new client got one milliliter so that's how much she wants yeah so it's not her fault but i naturally have pretty good sized lips i never really felt the need to do anything with my lips i really just got it because ella was sad that day yeah honestly i really like the size of them Ella bailed out on her other half of the milliliter of lip filler because it was so painful for her. Yeah, that's crazy to me. <laughs> I was like, girl, what? It was 320 on Groupon. I would get the rest of that. I will figure it out. <laughs> you know what I mean with the pain? I'll give another update in two more weeks. Hey guys, so we're back. The Botox has finally kicked in the lip filler. I'm not gonna lie. The next day, I regretted it so bad. When when I tell you, I woke up with, I looked like bees stung me all over my lips and they were huge. I couldn't look at myself all day and to be quite honest, for about a week or two, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was just like, that is not even me. Even the video linked up here, when you look at the end, even in that video, who is that? I was editing it and I was just in shock. I was just like, wow, I never want to get lip filler again in my life. I mean, this lip gloss is absolutely everything. Ulta Beauty just plumps your lips. And now I don't really need that. But it gives the effect. I cannot put into words the pain that is lip filler. I mean, for Ella, who didn't even see the worst part. I mean, she was like going like, oh, like she couldn't handle it. I thought I had a really bad pain tolerance. Turns out... I have pretty good pain tolerance. I mean, I really took on that pain like it was just another day. It's weird, it's true, because she was saying that it's so weird that so many people say on the right side, if you're right-handed, it's not gonna hurt as much on the right side, which was so true. It doesn't even make sense. But on the left side, when she started doing it, the worst part is not the poke. The worst part is when she pushes the hyaluronic... Hyaluronic? Hyaluronic? <laughs> 
try. Oh my god, these bangs! I'm I'm done. I'm so done with bangs. Never again. That's funny. I talked to my psychiatrist today and she's like, you look different. And I completely forgot I got lip filler and Botox and stuff. I was like, oh yeah, I cut my bangs when we were drinking. It's like the worst idea. She's like, yeah, don't cut hair when you're drinking. <laughs> And she told me there was an Adderall shortage. Something happened at an Adderall power plant. I was like, bro, <laughs> I need to do my nails. Do you see what I mean? I'm off my ADHD meds. And that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> the flesh, you're just all over the place. Anyway, now, I don't know. My lips have always been a good size. I could never really complain about them. I do feel like they're a little bigger now. And I like them. I mean, I think I, they look good. I don't know. Now I'm happy I got it. But would I do it again? Probably not. The Botox lady said she does do lip filler. It's $700 without a sale. And she does the local anesthetic or something like that. So you literally don't feel a thing. And she's like, yeah, like, Cocaine cream is not gonna do nothing. <laughs> like, that's not enough. And I'm like, thank you, exactly. It wasn't unbearable for me. For Ella, it was. And I'm sure for other people, it's even worse. But she said that one girl stopped her in the middle of it because she was like about to throw up. Yeah, it's bad. So I don't know why no one talks about that. Do I regret it? No. <laughs> When it comes to the Botox, I don't know how long it's been, but... Oh, what? That's not supposed to be there. Yeah, that's not supposed to move at all. Why do I get Botox everywhere else and nothing moves? I'm about to call her back. Or maybe the other places secretly give me more units? I don't know. I should just stick to where I go. I don't know. We'll see. It still scrunches a little. Stick with your regular Botox, people. I am not kidding. That's ridiculous. And she was Ukrainian. Listen, there's bad people in every nationality, every race. And there's good people. There's crazy people. There's whatever. So I don't hate all Russians. Like, you know what I'm saying? In Ukraine, growing up as a kid, that's what kind of the vibes. My grandpa's an orphan. Russians ended his parents' lives at a really young age when there was the war and he ended up an orphan so of course you know there's gonna be a lot of hatred at that point i completely understand that so that's what i was taught growing up the important part is you can be taught whatever growing up but when you're old enough and you're an adult you should make your own conclusions about every type of person race whatever i don't know because people make the excuse i grew up with racist parents that's why i have these thoughts about certain people but you're an adult you can make your own assumptions at this age you don't have to keep that hatred within you anyway that is so do you see what i'm talking about oh my i need to get back on my vivance whatever <laughs> he really said let's wait three weeks and don't take anything and see how you feel girl i've been taking it for a week and i'm tripping i'm like i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do this and oh my god i forgot to do that oh i'm gonna go vacuum oh it's too much the best thing to do, honestly, if you have friends that do Botox, get lip injections, filler, definitely ask who's good, who's not. Make sure you trust these friends because fr friends, friends, some friends can be haters, so they're going to send you to some like really bad like since your lips are gonna be like this so final thoughts just make sure where you're going is respectable place it's safe really professional they take it serious they want to really make you look how you want to look not how they want to make you look everyone has their own idea of beauty and what's most beautiful on them you know yourself the best so make sure you don't play around with you know what you want like these lips i only ended up doing them because ella was in her feelings and she was like damn I'm gonna get my lips done alone tomorrow. And I surprised her and got the group on. <laughs> so yeah, don't do that. Even though I'm fine, like I don't regret them at this point. And it lasts nine months. That's kind of worth the money if you divide it up by month. That's how I like to think of things. That's why, you know, I still get Botox even though it's like twice a year. If you divide it up by month, like I could save that money towards Botox instead of buying something stupid or, you know, shopping on Shein. Would you guys want to see some more Shein hauls? Because I really am on Shein a lot. I just ordered a lot of stuff. Why? I don't know. Only Jesus knows. I need to start reading the Bible and reading in general. If you guys have any questions, just let me know down below and I could do like a Q&A maybe. If anything, I just want to lose weight. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I just want to be put in a sauna. Just lose your weight that you want to lose and That's it. Because my jeans don't fit like they used to.
I'm about to film a weight loss video too and how I'm going sober for 30 days on day 3 of 30 so we'll talk about that in that video I'm about to start filming that but thank you guys so much for joining me on this video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell so you know when I come out with my next video I'll see you guys next time Bye.